I'm Nat, and this is James. For over two years, we've been sailing the world aboard our floating home, Zephyr. Someone once said that every person can transform the world to one of excitement and adventure. Follow our adventure by clicking the subscribe button and make sure to hit the bell so you don't miss an episode. Become a patron by clicking the patron logo. You will get early access to weekly videos, exclusive content, and much more. My baby, I don't cover that I die for you. This week on Sailing Zephyr, we trade sea for land and take you on a seven day exploration of the island of Curacao. What you did was meaningless. What's the point of your coldness? I cannot sleep with your eyes on me. What kind of day has it been today, James? It's a beach day. Or a sleep day, yeah, right? Yeah, I'm a little under the weather at the moment, so I've been sleeping. Did you know that there's an Instagram post where I say beach day equals sleep day for James, and there you are, passed out? Am I passed out on my face? Yes. Yeah. I thought that might be the case. Not a bad spot, this uh, Porto Mare beach. It's uh, been really, really nice to be here and to show Brandon a little bit of the Caribbean. Uh, I think every beach we've gone to, he's been like, wow, the water's so lovely. So uh, that's what we wanted. So I'm glad that he's getting that. So we're at Porto Mare Beach and it's known for its pigs. They're not allowed on the beach anymore, but here's a perfect specimen of one. <laughs> Could not be more cliche, mate. What's the name of the pig? Willie and Wood. Willie and Wood. Willie Wood. So the boys have something planned for me tonight, and I know I've worked it out. I know it's they're gonna take me to the cinema as part of my extended birthday presents. They think <laughs> that they're being all coy, and I don't know what's going on, but I know that that's what's happening. But anyway, they're. Uh, being all secretive about it. The thing is, Nat is extremely confident because 99% of the time she guesses every surprise I've ever planned for her. But today could be different. Anyway, we just got out of the pharmacy. That's why I was parked outside the pharmacy because we've been searching for ear antibiotics, um, ear drops and uh, you have to go to a doctor's here to get them. We just ran into the best doctor possible. Uh, well, she was just like the secretary outside and she just kind of went, I'll just write something out for you. What, <laughs> what do you want? What antibiotic do you want in the eardrop? And we were just like, okay, well, this is the one we normally get in Australia, so that would be great. Yeah. And then she just went in, wrote it down, gave it back to us, and then she's like, slyly asked us for 25 guilders. And we were like, oh, well, we don't have 25 guilders, but, um, and then she was like, no, 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 you don't have to pay, like, leave, leave, leave. So then we just left, which was amazing. We had the prescription in our hand. So we came straight to the pharmacy. At the pharmacy, she goes, oh, we don't have, we don't carry this one. I have to ring the doctor to find out if I can give you a different one. And I was like, no, 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 no. Uh, just give us anything you have, anything you have. Because I was like, oh my God, if she rings the doctor, there's no doctor. Um, anyway, so we did a bit of the dodge, but it saved us a fair bit of money. And the drops were actually less expensive than the drops we buy in Australia that we had with us. And I just finished them because I had a really bad ear infection all throughout this week. So, um, yeah, and now James thinks he's getting one. So that's why we had to rush to get some. Anyway, hopefully they move the car soon because it's pretty hot right here. All right. So this is apparently where they're taking me. I don't know what this is. Oh, it looks like a restaurant. It's a restaurant. We're doing another restaurant. Are we a bit early for a restaurant, mate? Yeah, you, we might be a bit early for a restaurant, actually. <laughs> no. Oh, steakhouse. Abre las seis, tíos. 
I don't know what's going on. It's all falling apart. It's all mm. falling apart. So... Wait. Mm. Why? Brandon's idea, which was what came recommended, is this place on Monday nights does live salsa and bachata music <gasps> and dancing. What? And, and what's happened? Because of COVID right now, they stopped doing it. Oh. So he's just saying it's only dinner. They're not doing the salsa and bachata live music oh, dancing tonight. No. Oh. That would have been amazing. <laughs> then I saw the mini golf and I was like, oh, we're going to do mini golf. That was a plan to do mini golf first. And then have dinner and then the live bachata and salsa. Oh my yeah. god, I would have loved live bachata and salsa. How cool would have that been, Brandon? <laughs> See, you didn't even yeah. close, were you? No. So now what? I wasn't close at all. I thought we were going to the cinema, so now we'll just have to end up going to the cinema. I think we're going to go to the cinema. <laughs> <laughs> and then I was right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Always right, always right. I guess we can go to the cinema tonight. <laughs> no. No. We're here at the we're here at the Emma Bridge, I believe it's called, in downtown Corso, and this is the bridge that moves to allow boats in and out, and it's all lit up at night. Check it out. We are back in the district of Punda in Williamstad, checking some of the street art found nearly on every corner of the city. Great. Look how much more pink those ones are. I know. It doesn't even seem real, does it? That afternoon, we head to Kokomo Beach for some swimming and sundowners. Take me out to an open field where I can run to my lungs will scream. Even when my breath is short, I will not look. So, we're just going to go and check out this fort that's right nearby. And we're going to swim over to the shore, which is really, really close here, and then walk up. So we're taking our flip-flops. I've got my new watch on to tell me what I'm doing. We're off. Fort Beaconburg lies on a rocky outcrop next to Spanish waters. It was built in 1703 to protect the entrance to the bay we are currently anchored in, Caracas Bay. The battery consisted of six 8-pounder and four 12-pounder cannons. The round tower was completely built out of stones that were fabricated in the Netherlands and which were shipped to Curaçao as ballast. The island went back and forth between the English and Dutch between 1800 and 1807. When finally the island was returned to the Dutch, Fort Beekenburg served as a military outpost until the mid 19th century. Pretty nice views from up here. We cannot complain. <laughs> Definitely worth the little walk up. Yeah. <laughs> Off he goes into the hole. So we don't really know what this is. I mean, obviously it's a pool. And this used to be something behind me. But we're not really sure what. But the pool's pretty epic though. Yeah, full swim up bar, everything. Yeah, there's the bar. Unfortunately, it all closed down for what seems like quite a while. Through the wind, I give in. This water is unreal. It's like an aquarium. 
Isn't that cool? It's amazing. Wow. What a beach, hey. Bye bye. Bye bye bye. Bit busy. I close my eyes. indulging in McDonald's for the first time in, I think, the Canaries was the last time we had McDonald's, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah. Wow. This is terrible and I'm so happy. <laughs> in true fashion to this week's shenanigans, we head over to another beach. A few games on the beach before heading back to Zephyr for a barbecue. Full production going on here, haven't we, James? Sure is. Hamburger time! It is homemade hamburgers a la Canadian. A la Canadian. And Jane, uh, well, Brandon, my brother, is making me a gin and tonic with coconut Sprite, which I quite like, but he doesn't like, so now he is making himself a... Rum cola. Rum cola. <laughs> here we go. So it's all hands on deck at the moment. The last day of the week, we find ourselves pretty exhausted. So we relax by heading to one of the best known restaurants in Curaçao. Where are we? We are at a fish place that I don't know the name of. <laughs> Let's check out that. Uh, I got some snapper, got some chips. These you guys got have tuna. got tuna. Well done over there. there. We're rolling. And medium rare here. Look at mm -hmm. that. That is something else. And the chippies. Next week is a special week as it's my brother's birthday. We have a few surprises in store for him, so make sure you join us for the following week. All right, banana of the sea. Here we go. No, banana of the reef. Oh, the reef, sorry. <laughs> the reef. The only beach. That's the only surfable. beach that's surfable. Right here. If you are new to our channel, consider subscribing so you can join the adventure each week aboard Zephyr. If you would like early access to weekly videos, bonus content, and free merch, click the Patreon logo here. This journey is only made possible thanks to our amazing patrons.